Well, the Supreme Court's new term got underway this morning with its first black female justice, Katanji Brown Jackson. Participating in the arguments, many observers expect the court's six to three conservative majority will continue to steer the country to the right after its bombshell decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. Skylar Henry reports from Washington. History was made as the Supreme Court's new term got underway this morning. Katanji Brown Jackson became the first black woman on the bench since its beginning in 1789. Justice Jackson was an active participant in the first arguments, including in a case challenging the EPA's authority to regulate wetlands under the Clean Water Act. 404G is unenlightening as to the meaning of waters in the island. Well, let me let me let me try to bring some enlightenment to it. Jackson was President Biden's choice to replace Stephen Breyer, who retired in the summer. Her appointment means the court has four female justices for the first time in the court's 233-year history. The question is, how much is she going to change the conversation? It's an old cliche, but the idea is every time there's a new justice, there's a new court. Many observers believe the Supreme Court's 6-3 conservative supermajority will continue to push the country further to the right, following last summer's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. She's going to be writing a lot of dissents for a long time. There's no question about that. There's a three-person liberal minority on this court. She's one of the three liberals. During this term, the court is going to hear cases involving several hot-button issues, such as voting rights. One case could result in state legislatures being granted near total control over elections, including those for federal offices. Also on the docket is a case revisiting race as a factor in college admissions. Another case involves a Colorado web designer who refuses to build websites for same-sex couples. Both cases could upend decades-old precedents and practices. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington.